Hello everyone and welcome to the third channel. Um, am I too high in the camera? I don't know. It's because I'm zoomed in. Right, let me put you down. As you can see, I've got a microphone because we have upgraded the equipment. <sighs> Maybe just fix the angle of the camera. Oh, right, come closer. Not for very much longer. Right, we're starting now. So. Today we're talking about 10%. Now, this is a different type of review, because every so often, the visuals will be taken over by the trailer that I've edited and uploaded to the copyright tester, the second channel, to see if it was copyrighted. It wasn't, because when you took the music out, because I didn't really need the audio, so it's a PG version, so when they mouth a swear word or a non-family friendly word, I have bleeped it. You used to hear it, bleep! But now you don't. So, today we're talking about 10%. 10% is a UK remake of the French sitcom, not of the same name. The name in French means 10%, but the international name for it is, lo and behold, da -da 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 -da, call my agent. Now, they have done a Turkish version, um, and they've done other versions the most notable Netflix did their own version called Karma Agent Bollywood, which was awful, but that's another video for another day. I do need to finish watching that, though, so I can see if the whole series is a um, carbon copy of Karma Agent, because that's when it seems. So, Karma Agent is a French sitcom about an agency called Ask, um, whereas 10% is about an agency in London called Nightingale Heart. If I've said that right, I think. So, the key difference is, is that... Oh, if you've not seen uh, 10%, it's available on Amazon Prime. Watch it before you watch this, because it will contain spoilers. So, 10% is similar and different in many different ways to its original uh, predecessor, Calm Agent. So, Calm Agent has the head of Ask, go on holiday and die on holiday. Whereas in 10% we have Jim Broadbent's character Richard uh, die of a heart attack. Richard has a son who who is not in the original. There is no son. Um, and you have certain characters that are the same. And then at the same time you have certain characters that are um, different in other senses. So... What I mean by different is, I mean that, um, that you don't see, it's like, I don't know how, I'm probably wording this horrifically, but when I say different, what I try to mean is that it's not the same as Call My Agent in a way of, there is scenes in Call My Agent Bollywood that replicate the scenes in Call My Agent, but in... Um, ten percent the scenes in there that aren't in the original, so it's the same storyline. So the father dies, uh, not the the owner of Ask dies this this time. Nightingale Heart dies, and they have to try and work out how to run Ask uh, Nightingale Heart um, without him. And in this version, you have you, you have him dying, and then the son realizing he's lost. You don't have any scenes with. Uh, the main two agents and balconies and talking about babies, you have none of that. You have the a the um the receptionist already being a good actress rather than wanting to be an actress. Um you have him wanting to be her agent before they got together and in the original they got together. So so they've changed it enough to feel like its own program. But not, like, enough to make it not seem like 10%. Um, the guest stars we've had in this version are Jim Broadbend, um, Helen Bella Carter, Phoebe Waller-Bridge has been mentioned several times but never seen. Uh, one of the line of duty actresses that I don't remember her name, I do apologise. And who else? Who else we had? 
I think that oh we had um Jamie from Ted Lasso in it in it. Um which is an amazing cameo because Ted Lasso has now become a very popular show within the UK and the US. Uh Nick Mohammed has become more popular. But ten percent works in every which way. It's hilarious, it's comical and it homes the point of oh call me agent is blah 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 and blah and 10 percent is this this is it's like oh we're trying to be different to 10 percent we're trying to be different to call me agent but not different enough that we seem like a separate program so it's got elements that were in the original like so the whole first series storyline is in the original but it's played out differently so you don't have like, oh, that's how it ha- that Oh, I remember that scene. It's not that. It's like, I remember where they're going with. So, I was watching a bit where they're in a disco. No, they're in a pub or a club. And there's a bit in it. And I remember that happening. Like, those words, the, the, what's, the way it, where it goes forward happens. But they've not directly done it shot for shot. It's different enough. There is one character, the old woman, I don't know her name in the show, her character is, I think, must be quite identical to her uh, French counterpart in Call Me Angel because there is a dog in that. But the difference is you've got Britain merging with the US instead of France merging with another French company. Um, it's, uh, I, it's hard to explain because it's different enough to be his own property, but it's also the same to be a Call Me Angel remake. It is written by the W1A and 2012 writers, a writer, creator. So, in WA1 and 2012, there was a lot of mm, yes, mm, yes, no, yes, uh, because that was their thing. So in this, there is still the mm, yes, mm, yes category, but... There you have it. That is my uh, mini uh, chat about 10%. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll say goodbye together because obviously I'm, I'm recording it on a Zoom H4 Pro Black. So we've got to end it at the same time. So we sync up. But thank you guys. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Time on to match. Oh, I'll be back later today. Probably talking about the US version of what I've had you. I uh, highly recommend you watch 10%. It is available on Amazon Prime. Don't know why it wasn't a Netflix original. But thank you guys for watching. Time on top out. Bye. Stay weird.